One other thing I wanted to show you in Moodle is assignment tracking, which is really nice uh, for your students um, to be able to keep track of if they've done something or not done something. Um, what it does is it gives you this little checkbox right here. And so when, when the assignment is completed, it puts a little checkbox in there or when they've um, done their discussion or when they've whatever uh, you're having them do, this will fill in with a checkbox. And so in order to, if you would like to do this, you can continue watching. If this is something that you don't want, you can stop watching. But um, you have to turn this on within your course. And so I'm in a practice course here. And so if we scroll down to the bottom under administration and we have edit settings. And so we're going to click on edit settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through here all the way down uh, towards the bottom here. And there's a, there's a tab that says completion tracking. I'm just going to turn that down and then make sure it says yes. And then we'll hit save changes. So now you have it enabled in your course. All right. And so when you are creating an assignment or um, an activity, so we're going to go to an assignment here. Um, and name this uh, trial assignment two and just give it a generic so I can get it to go. Um, I'm just going to turn that off for now. And underneath your uh, your assignment and, and things here, you have other options. You know, obviously you can look through those, but we're concentrating on activity completion. You click on that. And so you have a couple options here. And so you can have students can manually mark this activity as completed or you can say show activity as complete when conditions are met. And so this one will be what do they need to do? So students must view this activity to complete it or they must submit something in order to complete it. Whatever you want um, you can do. And so I'm just going to say view and hit save to return to course. Now back on my course, what I have is trial assignment two. So when it gets clicked on, and then they end up going back, it won't do it for me, or it will do it for me. It'll put a little check mark there that I, that's been viewed at least, because that's what I said I wanted it to do. You can also have it set up so students can click it themselves. And so underneath activity completion, And so we can say students can manually do it. And we save and return to course. So now as a student, I can click on it and, and click it. But I like the ability for having conditions met in order to meet that checkbox. So kind of a neat little uh, add-on there that you can do. Uh, it's a visual thing for students if you have many different things you're having them do. It's just a checkbox for them. So uh, just a little uh, tidbit, a little help there. Uh, if you're looking at doing that and you can't figure it out, please let me know and I'll walk you through it.